Welcome to production of Aladdin. This wonderful fable come from Book of Arabian Nights. But since story itself take place in ancient China, we will perform in Chinese theater style. In Chinese theater, I am called stage manager. I do many jobs. I tell story, I change scenery, and from time to time act part of character in play. Now, let us begin. Many, many years ago, in great capital city of China, lived boy named Aladdin. Hi ho, I'm on my way, on my way to spend the day and night. Flying my car. His father was poor tailor named So and So. Oh, now for a moment, I play part of Aladdin's father. Aladdin, come here. Yes, my father. You are now of age. It's time you learn trade. Must be tailor like me. Oh, no, my father. I would rather play in the streets and fly my beautiful kite. Hi ho, the wind is high. Wind is high and so is my delight. Aladdin, come back here. Oh, my Aladdin. Oh, poor so and so. Aladdin would never mind his father, and because of grief over boy, Taylor sickened and died. Aladdin! Aladdin! Aladdin's mother, seeing boy was good for nothing, had to sell tailor shop. To make living, she spun cotton yarn, and from this work fed herself and son. Oh, now I play part of neighbor to Aladdin's mother. Have you seen my son Aladdin? Oh, yes, Mrs. So-and-so. I saw him run by short while ago, flying his kite. Oh, that boy will never amount to a thing. Aladdin! Aladdin! I hope I never care where I go or what I wear. I only like to keep that fun. Happy fun, so hi ho, I'm on my way. On my way to spend the day and night. Fly my kite. our play, scenery being moved by my assistants. In Chinese theatre, they are called property men. Please, to pretend they are invisible. Well, little did Aladdin know how important Kite was soon to become, for as he was passing by wall of great forbidden palace of Emperor of China, sudden wind carried Kite over wall into palace garden. Aladdin found break in wall, climbed through to get kite. And at that moment, the emperor's daughter, the princess Mei Ling and attendants entered garden. Who is that, please? Oh! Oh! Oh, uh, now for a moment, I play part of tree in garden. A tree called umbrella tree. Who are you? My name's Aladdin. What are you doing in Gardens of Forbidden Palace? The wind blew my kite here, and I found a break in the wall and climbed through to get it. Oh, you are very brave. I am? Oh, yes. If my father, the Emperor, were to find you here, he would have you beheaded. He would? Oh, yes. Then I'd better be gone. Wait. Please. Your name is Aladdin? Yes. My name is Mei Li. <laughs> Are you really the princess of all China? Oh, yes. But I am mostly very sad, for I am never allowed to talk to anyone other than my attendant. Well, now that I'm here, you may talk with me. Oh, yes. Now I am very happy. <laughs> what shall we talk about? Oh. Let us talk about beautiful weather.
lovely day to spend with you. Who are you talking with? Only to my attendants, my father. Thought I heard man's voice. Sometimes we play a game, my father, pretending that handsome suitor asked for my hand in marriage. <laughs> I know, my child. I have been selfish. It's time I allowed you to marry. Must find you richest man in all China. But they are all so old and unattractive, my father. What does that matter? Man who bring most jewels and gold will be your husband. And also, as is custom, man must bring me a great gift as well. Yes, my father. Now must see this announcement is sent throughout all China. heard what he said. Soon you will marry the richest man in China, and I will never see you again. Now I am very sad. If I were rich and could bring you jewels and gold and a great gift for your father, the emperor, would you marry me? Oh, yes. Then I would be truly happy. But I am only a poor tailor, son. I have nothing to offer you except this kite. May I keep it, please? It is yours. Farewell, Mei Ling. I will never see you again unless I can find a way to become the richest man in China. Farewell, Aladdin, and thank you for the kite. It's a very, very, very lovely morning in China. Now I feel such very overwhelming joy. <laughs> it's a very, very, very lovely So, after Aladdin had met the Princess Mei Ling, he decided to give up idle ways and become richest man in China. But how could this be? This is what happened. That same day arrived a strange and mysterious man. Salam! A whirling dervish from Arabia. Allah be praised! Allah be praised! Now this dervish was also a powerful magician and could by use of his magic uproot the high mountain and hurl it against another. I did it, I did it, I, a great magician of mine. I did it, I did it, I, look out for my evil eye. I did it, I did it, I, a great magician of mine. I did it, I did it, I, look out for my evil eye. Did it, I, did it, I, did it, I. At last, I have arrived in the capital of China. I have waited years for this day. And if all goes as planned, all the power of the universe will be mine. Ha <laughs> ha! Now to draw the magic circle of the zodiac. Divide this 
circle into 12 houses. No to set down all the planets of the universe. I find the position of the sun at noon is in conjunction with the August moon, which means the boy I seek will be here very soon. This is the boy I need. This is he whom I left my native land to find. Well, uh, now I play part of neighbor again. You, what is this boy's name? Whose son is he? His name is Aladdin, son of so-and-so the tailor who died short time ago. The very boy. My child, are you not Aladdin, the son of so-and-so the tailor? My father is now dead. Oh! oh! <laughs> Why do you weep, sir? How can you ask such a question? I am your father's brother. I have come home after long exile in the hope of seeing him once more, and now you tell me. He is dead. <laughs> then you must be my uncle. Yes, your long lost uncle. Now tell me, my son, where is your house? And where lives your mother, my brother's widow? Just over there, sir, the house with the lantern in front. <whistles> ah, yes. Here, give your mother these gold coins and present me to her at once. This way, my uncle. Mother! Aladdin! Mother, I bring you good news. My uncle is back from his travels and sends you his greetings. Are you making fun of me, child? You did have an uncle once, but he died long ago, nor am I aware that you have another. No, Mother, this man must be my uncle, for he wept bitterly when I told him of my father's death then he embraced me and bade me give you these gold coins. How strange. Where is he now? He awaits outside and wishes to meet you. Oh, then hurry. Show him in. Please enter, my uncle. Oh. This is my mother. Wife of my brother. How good it is to meet you at last. Forty years ago, when I was but a boy myself, I left this city for Arabia and ever since have lived there. But today I returned, and seeing this boy on the street, I at once recognized him as my nephew. Oh, welcome, oh, brother of my late husband. Please, here is tea. Now tell me, my son, what trade do you follow? Have you mastered a craft so that you could earn a living for yourself and your mother? Yes, lad. Tell your uncle how you spend your time. Well, I like to fly my kite in the streets because he never does what's right for me. He's never home at night for me. Always he flies his kite for me. Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin. He's an idle rat of muffin. He's a lazy good for nothing. He's a bad un. Aladdin. He never makes his bed for me. He runs away instead for me. Nor will he help spin thread for me. Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin. He's an idle ragamuffin. He's a lazy good for nothing. He's a bad un. Aladdin. But still, I love him. He's my one and only one. Yes, still, I love him. He's my number one and only son. He never plants the rice for me. Thinks that work is nice for me. What would he sacrifice for me? Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin. He's an idle ragamuffin. He's a lazy good for nothing. He's a bad un. Why must he sadden? Why can't he gladden my life? Aladdin. My mother speaks the truth, Uncle. But this morning, something happened that has made me want to change my ways. What? What do you mean? I have decided to become the richest man in China. Great heaven, a miracle. Well, then perhaps I can help you, Aladdin. How, sir? If you will accompany me tomorrow morning on a short journey, I can assure you you will return a rich man. Did you hear my mother? May I go with my uncle, please? Oh, it seems so sudden. Oh, but yes. Good, then it is settled. 
Tomorrow morning at dawn, I will call for you here. So be ready, Aladdin. Yes, Uncle. So, next morning at dawn, Aladdin met magician. They journeyed for many miles out of city. They passed over many bridges. They traveled through many beautiful gardens. Then, arriving at foot of great mountain, they began to climb. Hours later, they arrived at goal magician had set for himself. This is the place we have been seeking, the top of the mountain. Now, if Allah wills, I will show you strange and wondrous things such as the eyes of man have never seen before. such a blow. Be quiet. If you do as I bid you, you shall become wealthier than any king. Now, behind this rock is a cave, a cave which contains an enchanted treasury. I will give you magic words to open this cave. You will then enter and do as I bid you. I cannot go with you. The spirits that dwell within would not find me worthy. But through my willpower, you will be able to hear my voice guiding you your journey. Now, will you do exactly as I bid you? Yes, Uncle. Then stand here. Now repeat after me. Mystic spirit within this rock, open as I knock, knock, knock. Mystic spirit within this rock, open as I knock. Knock! Knock! You are now in the hall of the Golden Jaws. But beware, lest you touch them. Proceed to the next hall where you will pass magic chimes. Do not touch these either.
trapped me in this cave. There's no way out. With these riches, I could ask for the hand of Mei Ling. But what good are they to me now? Why did my uncle become so angry? Just because I wouldn't give him the lamp first? It can't be worth very much unless... Maybe it's solid gold underneath all this dust. I'll rub it a little and see. <laughs> I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Oof, I'm free. <laughs> I've been waiting a thousand years for somebody to get me out of that tiny little lamp. <laughs> oh, hello down there. You must be my new master. What's your name? My, my name's Aladdin. Who are you? Who am I? I am the genie of the lamp, and now you're a slave. Your wish is my command. I don't understand. You don't understand. Some new master I've got doesn't even know a genie when he sees one. I am a genie, a good genie, not a meanie. Every time you rub the magic lamp with your hand, I'll appear and your wish will be my command. I am a genie, a good genie, not a meanie. He is a genie, a good genie, not a meanie. Every time I rub the magic lamp with my hand, he'll appear and my wish will be his command. He is a genie, a good genie, not a meanie. Now, Master, what is your first command? Anything I ask you can do? Anything, anything, anything. You ask it and I can do it. <laughs> 
Then get me out of this cave and home at once. Very well. It shall be done in the wink of an eye. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, yes. There is something you can do for me first. To hear is to obey. Now, I have enough riches to ask for the hand of Mei Ling in marriage. And as is the custom, I must select a great gift for her father, the emperor. What do you suggest, Jeannie? A great gift for the emperor. I've got it. I've got it. Perfect gift for the emperor. Fatima, the dancing doll. Where is she? She's in the other cave. I'll get her. Now I realize that that man is not my uncle, but some evil magician. And he only wanted the lamp because of the wonderful genie. Here she is, Aladdin. Fatima, the dancing doll. Well, what do you think? Suitable gift for the Emperor? She's wonderful, Jeannie, and so are you. <laughs> well, that's true, yes. Now, tell me, do you still wish to go home? Yes, at once. And we must take the jewels and the dancing doll with us. Well, right toe. What? Right toe, right toe. What's wrong? <laughs> You're standing on my right toe! Oh. Very well. Take my hand, and off we'll fly in the wink of an eye. <laughs> Up, 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 up high, we will fly, we will fly in the sky. Up, 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 up high, we'll be home in the wink of an eye. Up, 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 up high, we will fly, we will fly in the sky. Up, 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 up high, we'll be home in the wink of an eye. next morning and we see throne room of Imperial Palace. Oh, in this scene, I play part of first minister to emperor. Kneel. Three knocking. Rise. Kneel. Three knocking. Your Imperial Majesty, Emperor of all China, this morning appeared at court, woman and son, and request audience with you. They have brought great gifts. Bring them to me at once. Oh, Lord of the age, here is my son who seeks your daughter's hand in marriage. He knows she will only be allowed to marry the richest man in China, so he brings proof of his wealth. What is proof? Here, O oh Lord. Oh, have I in all my days have I seen jewels like these for size and beauty? There is not in all of China a single one like them. Now, indeed, Husso has presented to me such riches deserves to be bridegroom to my daughter, Mei Ling. Rise. And what may your name be, O richest man in China? O Lord of the Age, my name is Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin! You see, Mei Ling, I have become 
the richest man in China. And I have become happiest girl in China. And now, oh great one, as is the custom, I have brought you a gift. Genie, bring forth the dancing doll. There she is, Master. Thank you, Genie. <laughs> Anytime. Behold! Oh! Fatima, the dancing doll. Wonderful, wonderful. She is exquisite. Have her dance at once. You are richest man in China and have pleased me with this priceless gift. Now, let marriage ceremony begin! And so, Aladdin and Mei Ling were married. That evening there was great celebration throughout all China and magnificent wedding procession through streets of capital. At your service, Master. I wish you to build a beautiful palace for my bride, Mei Ling. Can you have it ready by the time we have finished the procession? To hear is to obey. One palace on its way. Come, my bride. Soon you will see a wondrous surprise. It's a very, very, very long. has escaped from the cave. He must have discovered the secrets of the magic lamp and now has possession of the genie. I must find a way to get that lamp away from him. I'm getting an idea. I've got it! I have to build a palace for my master. And this looks like a very good place to build it. You know, all I have to do is think about something and it'll materialize. Watch. Hum. That's only half a palace. I must be only half thinking. <laughs> Why don't you help me think up the rest? It's easy. All you have to do is put your fingers up to your head and go, hum. Come on, try it with me. One, two, three. Hum. Somebody out there isn't humming. And if you don't hum, 
you can't think. And if you don't think with me, Aladdin's not going to get his palace. Now, come on, everybody, all together. One, two, three. Hum! It's coming one more time. One, two, three. Hum! A lovely palace. Uh-oh, something's wrong. None of us thought about a roof. That ought to do it. And just in time. Here they come now. Thanks for the help. Here's your palace, Aladdin. How do you like it? Oh, it's wonderful, Genie, and so are you. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, a word of advice. Do not lose the lamp. I like working for you. You're the best master I've ever had. <laughs> and uh, congratulations on your marriage. Oh, what a wondrous palace. It is a gift for my bride. Ah, excellent. And now, Aladdin, I leave my most precious jewel, my daughter, in your care. God, how well. For if any harm should come to her, it would mean your life. Fear not, great emperor. She will never be left alone. I intend that my mother live with us and be her protector in the event of my absence. Then I am satisfied. Farewell and blessings on you, my children. It's a very, very, very I will retire and leave you with your bride. Good night, my mother. Mei Ling, may I offer you tea? It would please me to serve my husband. So, all went well for Aladdin and Mei Ling. Many moons go by. Just as moons going by. Then, one day, Aladdin went on hunting trip. He left Mei Ling to care of his mother. At last, Aladdin is away from his palace, and he did not take the lamp with him. I've waited long for this moment. I have several new lamps in this sack, and will trick Aladdin's wife and mother into giving me the magic lamp. New lamps for all! New lamps for all! Exchange an old lamp for a new one. Is it possible, Tim Mother, that this man is giving away new lamps for old ones? Well, it does seem strange. Let us test him and see. But how? With this old lamp of Aladdin. Oh, but good mother, Aladdin says that lamp contains a genie. Well, I've never seen any genie. And if there is a genie, he can just move into a new lamp. Oh, good merchant, 
Here is an old lamp for you. Ah, the magic lamp. And here is a lovely new one for you. I wonder if I should give away this old lamp. No, good mother. But look, how beautiful is this new lamp. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. No, definitely no. There's no use in keeping it here. Oh. The magic lamp, it is mine at last. Now, I will call forth the genie. Yes, master. <laughs> yes. You're not my master. Who are you and where did you get that lamp? Silence. No. I am your master now. And my first command is for you to take Aladdin's wife and mother and myself to the enchanted cave and cause this palace to vanish. Oh, no, please don't ask me to do that. I'm a good genie, not a meanie. You heard <laughs> my command. Be careful. And as long as I hold this lamp, you must obey. That's true. I must. <laughs> Soon everyone saw that Aladdin's palace had vanished. When Aladdin returned from hunting trip, he was immediately arrested and brought before Emperor. Oh, in this scene, I play part of executioner. Traitor! Traitor! Oh, great Emperor, why am I arrested? Where is my daughter, you villain? And where is your mother and palace? All have vanished off face of earth. Oh, I know nothing of this. What are you saying? Liar, liar, what have you done with my child? Speak or I will have your head chopped off. Spare my life! Spare my life! I believe I know what has happened! Paul! Speak, tell me what you know. There is a magician who is my enemy. Somehow he has stolen a magic lamp of mine and has caused this deed. But give me a little time. If I do not return with my wife and mother, then you may kill me. For I could not bear to live without them. Very well, Aladdin. I will give you until sundown. But if you do not succeed when sun go down, head come off! What am I to do? The only one that can help me is the genie, and he's lost forever. I am dancing the Hall of Fame, and Fatima is my name. I will give this ring to you, for it contains a genie too. Is it true, Fatima? Does this ring really contain a genie? She does come from the Enchanted Cave. Perhaps there is a genie of the ring as well. I'll just rub it and see. To hear is to obey. But you're the genie of the lamp. No, I'm the genie of the rings. But I am twin brother to the genie of the lamp. Then I am saved. Can you tell me what has happened to my wife and mother? Mm, they have been taken captive by the evil magician and are being held in the enchanted cave. Then take me there at once. In the wink of an eye. Aladdin was right. There must be a genie. Only now he is slave to the evil one. We will never see Aladdin again. Oh! <laughs> Mayling, where are you? That is my husband's voice. Aladdin, we are here. Mother. <gasps> Mayling, I have found you. But who is this with you? This is the genie of the rings, my mother. He is returning. Oh, he plans to take me to Arabia and to force me to marry him. What shall we do? Quick, Genie, destroy him. Destroy him. Oh, I can't destroy him. As long as he is in possession of the lamp, I can't touch him. You must destroy him. Oh, but how? Well, I'll tell you. The jewel of that ring contains a poison. Give the ring to your wife. Have her prepare a drink for the magician and drop the ring in the cup. If the evil one drinks from it, he will die. Oh, did you hear my wife? Take the ring. Do as the genie says. I will try, my husband. Come, genie, bring my mother. We must hide. Ah, Mei Ling, I have brought tea for us to celebrate. For now I have all the treasures of the enchanted cave. I have the magic lamp. 
I have the genie. And now you, oh beautiful one. Oh, yes. I will be your wife. But first. I will pour tea for our celebration. Well, now you have come to your senses. There's something strange going on here. What has become of the mother? Tea time, tea time, tea for you and me time. Tea time, tea time, happy we will be. Time. Oh, what fun! Oh, what joy! She is starting to annoy. Tea time, tea time, time to poison heat time. Tea time, tea time, she wants to. <laughs> Please, let us drink. <laughs> <laughs> but as is the custom in Arabia, I will drink from your cup and you drink from mine. <laughs> <laughs> but is not custom in China. <laughs> A magician and his own tricks, will you? Oh no, Mayling! It is you who will die! Oh, oh. Mayling! Get the lamp! Call the genie! Genie of the lamp! Genie of the lamp! Oh, mistress! Save us all! Save us all! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ah. Oh, thanks, genie. That was close. My husband, you are safe! Aladdin, what has happened? You fainted, Mother, but fear not. The genie of the lamp has saved us. Now, genie, you may set the magician free. What? Now that I have the lamp and the ring, he can no longer harm us. Very well. Abra, cadabra, cadabra, cadoo, off to Arabia with Y, O, U. Thank you, genie. Here, Mother, I give you this ring. Now you will have a genie of your very own. Oh. Aladdin, Aladdin, Aladdin. He is tender, he is gentle, he is very sentimental. Now he's glad, no longer sad. My life, Aladdin. And so, genie fly everyone home. Emperor, very pleased. But Tima danced for joy. Everyone lived happily ever after. Man may seek jewels and gold, but we'll find that love is greatest treasure. Oh!